Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland and we're looking at Tractor 3, specifically some advanced looping queuing options you might not know about. We're going to look at how to use the queuing options and how to do some really cool looping effects. Uh, right now I've got page 3 up and I've got my deck A selected with a track. I'm going to set my first queue point by going here and selecting queue. It's created a queue right here. So my queue point, first queue point's right there. Going to go to where it breaks down in the song. And I want to set a cue point there. Select my cue list and hit Q. So now I have two cue points. Going to make a third. Go to my little breakdown here. So go over there and hit Q. So I have three Q points. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Now keep in mind we can make these different types of Q points. I can go to my Q point here, select it, and set it as an in point. You'll see the arrow changes as to how it reacts. I can also uh, assign it to be an out point, load, or grid. I believe if it's load, it'll actually load the track on that cue point. So let's say I put a completely different track in there. And now I want to go back and grab the track I had before. See? That's my load cue point. So it'll automatically start right there. And so all this crap at the beginning. None of that shows up. So now what I want to do, now I've got that cue point, I can go in and set my deck B if I want, or I can go back to deck A. I've got three cue points here. I can also select the uh, BPM of this track. Right now it's set at 130 BPM, which is, it's assuming that the native BPM of the track is 130. If I do it times two, it'll assume it's 250. Doesn't really affect me now, but if I go to match it to another track, like this track by the uh, Black Ghost remixed by Boy 8-Bit, you'll see what happens when I try to sync it. So I want to bring that back. Anyway, back to track A, I'm going to take a look at how to do some beat jumping with this. I go up to here. I can jump forward half a beat or go back half a beat. Go forward four. Or 32. Now where this becomes very useful is when you assign a loop. Here's where I can assign the resolution of my loop. So you can use beat jump to glitch this out. Now if we go to our looping page, which is page two, I can uh, gradually shrink that loop. And then use beat jump.
for adjusting loops, I can go in here and use the loop end to adjust how it's looped. So take it back to four. This is a non-quantized way of shrinking your loop. Or expanding it. Again, these go in twos. Or threes. Now switching over to my deck B, we can do this at the same time over here. Notice how it's not letting me shrink this the way I did with the other one. Turn off snap. Oh, yeah. And then you can loop move using this. If you hold it down, you can move it ahead. Or you can even move the loop ahead a loop. Change it up. Now you can also assign this to be extremely small when you turn it on. So watch this. Or even a little bit bigger than that. Now in the next demo, I'm going to take a look at how you can do this, but with a beat repeater. But for now, I'm Bill Holland, and you've been watching an advanced queuing and looping demo in Tractor 3.